One little Eden jumping on the bed. She fell off and yeah. bumped her head. Mama called the doctor and the doctor said, Hello? No more Eden jumping off the bed. I can lose when I'm with you. How can I lose and miss the moment? So I just got home from picking up Eli from daycare and I have to show you guys the cutest thing. Like they made these at daycare. Oh my gosh, let me turn it this way so you guys can see better the lighting, but look at that. Don't mind the mess in the background, I have to clean up, but that is the cutest little snowman. That is the cutest little snowman thing that I've ever seen. And they could put it up on the wall. It's supposed to be like that around his height. I have to measure him completely. But this is what the little card says on it. It says, lean the snowman against the wall to remind you of when I was this small. Take him out each year and see I'm not as little as I used to be. So cute. So, so cute. So anyways, now I have to clean up get ready for his speech, not speech, um, his project impact course, which is pretty much like social and behavioral um, skills therapy and get him something to eat because he's probably starving. He probably needs his lunch now. And yeah, I'll check in with you guys later. Hey y'all, also I just realized, I don't think I told you guys, I didn't go to the store yet. So I'm probably gonna go later on in the week because a situation happened with my mom. So I pretty much just had to come home and just rest for a bit before I had to go back and pick up Eli from nursery school <laughs> i was gonna say daycare but it's technically nursery school that he's in <clears throat> but yeah so i'm just cleaning up now the kids are eating they're snacking on some stuff and then i'm gonna start cleaning um because yeah two o'clock we gotta do therapy i'm just tired <laughs> i'm already tired and the day is like not just beginning because i've been up from some, like 7 30 or seven o'clock but I feel like it's just dragging now and I just, I'm ready for it to be over and go to bed again. <laughs> um, I can't believe it's taking me so long to get my Christmas tree up. I'm so devastated that it's still not up yet, but it is still early December, so I'm not stressing too much. What's up, Eden? What? Anyways, let me go deal with that little girl. So the carpet's pretty much clean now. Um, I'm probably gonna do another run because it is a bit um, dirty still. There's still some stains. I think I gave the kids chili or some type of sauce in the living room and it got on the carpet. And trust me, our carpet is old, so I'm not really stressing it to be honest. But I'm gonna do the couch next. I feel like the couch is just disgusting. Like, 
I cannot wait to get rid of this couch. No one understands. I hate this couch so much. I mean, we got it at the time when we needed it because we lived in like a small little condo. And we needed something for when Corey and Naomi came over because at the time it was only a one bedroom condo. So, and they were like little, they were maybe like three and five or whatever, or three and six. But now they're older, everyone has their own bed. We technically don't need like a pull out sofa anymore. So I cannot wait to get rid of this. Oh my God, it's gonna be so great. I want a couch that has like a high back, big pillow, like not the ones that can like separate like this. I, I hate, I hate this Ikea couch. I mean, it was great for when it, we had it and you needed it. Don't get me wrong, but now it's like, I'm over it, I'm done. I don't want it anymore. I want to get rid of it. But anyways, I got to clean it up. Eden's over here playing. Eli's upstairs. I'm starving. His session starts in 30 minutes now. I think it's about 1.30. So I have to hurry up and get stuff done. I might not do the couch immediately and I might just eat something right now because I'm starving. I'm so hungry. I have not eaten anything. I snacked on like Eden's little... Ooh, it's so dark. You guys can't even see me. There we go. So I was snacking on Eden's little snacks that she had earlier, but I am st like, I need something to eat, eat. So I might make a quick breakfast, like just fry up an egg or something with some waffles, even though it's like lunchtime. But yeah, I'll be back. Hey, what's up? Hello, everybody. Welcome back to another day. Today is Wednesday. So Eli has speech therapy. I am just finishing up my skincare routine. Yeah, I'm just finishing up my skincare routine getting all the kids and stuff ready to go because he needs to go we need to head out soon and time is flying by boy but how you guys doing let me know in the comments i hope you guys are having a good week so far this vlogmas is not going to be a vlogmas for me i'm just going to be posting videos and um making sure that i have some content this holiday season um i probably post more consistently once Christmas is actually here, like maybe 12 days before Christmas, but it's just like actually right around the corner when I think about it. <laughs> but I don't know. I will see. I will see. I will see. It looks so dark and gloomy in here. I don't know why. Like when it's all this lighting is happening, it's still so dark and gloomy. But um, yeah. Today I'm feeling okay. I'm feeling good. I'm gonna take Eli's speech therapy as I mentioned, and then I'm gonna go and see my mom in the hospital. Check up on her, make sure she's okay. I don't know, I think my sisters might come too and see my mom as well, but we'll see. Sorry, I'm just looking at the mirror over here. Um, just because it's so dark in my camera. I don't know why it's so dark. So it looks like I'm not seeing things correctly. So I'm like, let me just look over here because it's easier. But I don't know. Today I've been productive. I did my couch i cleaned it um this morning because i couldn't do it yesterday i also what did i also do today well i just gave the kids breakfast and stuff i uh, ate breakfast um so we're all good eli's already changed for the day i just have to get eaten done um i still have to brush his teeth i have to also do his hair but yeah Yesterday, Eli had his in-person project APAC therapist come over and she said that we're doing really well. We we're working on prompting and play skills and stuff like that. So for those who do not know, prompting pretty much is like, let me see, there's like a list of categories like asking a question, doing a fill in the blank, um, modeling language, and they all kind of range from least supportive to more 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 it all range from the least supportive to the most supportive so like asking a question doesn't require any support it's just like pretty much a question and then the kids will say answer and if the child doesn't answer then you move to something that's a little bit more supportive so it could be like fill in the blank like say like ready set and your child's expected to say go um but that's something if they know this um the word sequence or whatever the case may be whatever they know like the fill in the blank phrase it should be something that they've heard all the time or through routine so that way they understand what to say for the blank section um and say if you're doing like something where it's actually like physical play if the child doesn't get um like if you say woo driving my car on the road and their child and your child doesn't drive your car or you're like oh, okay eli drive the car here then and he just stays stationary then you would like take your hand and use physical um you would physically help him move his hand 
and drive the car down the road so that's like the most important because it requires you to actually touch him and move it or you know you can model the motion as i was saying doing before where it's like you're pretending like showing that you're driving the car and expecting the child to do it so that is like a little bit on the more supportive side but it's not the most physical helping a person or a child is the most supportive but anyways i feel like I'm just rambling, rambling, and rambling on. I just finished my skincare. I don't know why it looks so gray. Why does it look so gray, guys? No, that doesn't look right. I don't know. But I gotta go get these kids' teeth brushed. I gotta do Eden the clothes. And oh, God, Eden. I cleaned this room and we fixed it back. Say hey, guys. Say hi, vlog. Say hi vlog. No? Eden, say hi vlog. Hi vlog. Hello. Hello vlog. Oh. Hi. Hello, hello. Hello. Okay, well, let me get this curtain open here. Okay, the lighting in the room is so much better. But yeah, I'm gonna get I'm gonna get Ian dressed to go. Hi Eli. One little Eli jumping on the bed. He fell off and bumped his head. Oh, I can't see him. Mommy called the oh, I can't see him. Mommy called the doctor and the doctor said hello. No more Eli jumping on the bed. <laughs> Eden. One little Eden jumping on the bed. She fell off and bumped her head. Mama called the doctor and the doctor said, Hello? No more Eden jumping off the bed. <laughs> oh, anyways. Yeah, let's get the kids. I got all their clothes together, so it's easy peasy. I just need to put it on. Just put it on. So, I think Eden I might need to check her diaper and stuff. So, I'll probably be back and you'll see all of us ready to go. So, we are at Eli's speech therapy, the center where he has speech therapy. We're just waiting. <laughs> Eden is asleep. What's up? What's up, Papa? Oh, I can't see you. My knee? Knee. Knee. So, yeah, we're just waiting it out. I feel so tired. I just want to go to sleep. Hi. Hi. <laughs> 